Okay, great. Good morning. Uh, my name is Leslie Nobile. I'm the Director of Registration Services at Aaron. And um, this presentation is entitled Global RIR Statistics. And it's actually a collaborative effort on the part of all four of the um, regional internet registries, APNIC, Aaron, LACNIC, and the RIPE NCC. And um, we put this together as a result of um, feedback from our communities. People were interested in seeing the current status of IPv4, IPv6, um, and ASN numbers. And they wanted to see comparative data between the RIRs, <coughs> and they wanted to see it in one presentation. So this is something we, we put together and we periodically update. So um, the first graph is um, the IPv4 address space status. This is the entire IPv4 address space as um, listed on the IANA website, and it's listed in slash H. And um, I'm going to kind of walk through the pie. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to start with the registries at the top. Um, Aaron, LACNIC, APNIC, and RIPE NCC. We've actually color coded them, tried to carry it throughout the rest of the presentation for consistency. Um, Aaron is shown as having 16 slash H on the IANA website. Um, this is a combination of space delegated by the IANA and um, some of the inherited space from the internet days. Um, LACNIC has 1 slash 8, it's 200 slash 8. APNIC has 9, the RIPE NCC has 10. Um, the purple section is called the Central Registry. It's actually pre-RIR space, it's legacy space, some people would call. Um, <clears throat> and it was allocated by um, the IANA and John Postel in the early days, the SRI NIC, DOD NIC, and the internet. So there were 94 slash 8s accounted for there. And this is basically the classful space. Um, the next pie is, it's entitled to IANA Reserve. It's actually um, part of the central registry. It's, it's designated on the IANA page as um, two various registries. However, the RERs discovered that it was, um, there's 17 slash 8s that had never been utilized never been allocated from, never been routed. And so <clears throat> we have asked the IANA to take that space back and put it into the IANA reserve. So it will eventually move over to those green pies. Um, the green pies are actually um, space held by the IANA. Of course, there's the multicast class D space, there's 16 slash 8 there, the experimental class E space, 16 slash 8 there, and then the IANA reserve space, which has 77 slash 8 remaining. And once that um, 17 moves over, the number will increase to about 94 slash 8. So this is the entire um, V4 space as it stands today. <coughs> um, this is just a sort of a four year slice um, from 1999 to 2002. It's the IPv4 allocations that um, the RIRs have made to. Their LARs or ISPs. LARs, of course, is the terminology used in the RIPE NCC and APNIC region, and it refers to ISPs, it's local internet registries. So um, it's basically just here to show the growth trends. Um, 99 to 2000, growth in all of the regions. Um, 2001, still some growth in all of the regions, particularly in um, the Aaron region. We kind of, I guess we peaked at 2.25 slash H in 2001, and then we started to see this decline in 2002 in V4 allocations in the RIPE region and in the Aaron region, and actually even in the LACNIC region, which is in white, um, very small amounts of space there. Um, but the APNIC region stayed the same. Actually, I think they increased slightly by one, uh, I think it was 1.72 slash 8 that they allocated in 2002. So there's a real difference between the regions um, in 2002. So, let's see, IP for allocations from the RIRs to LIRs. This is just a continuation of the previous slide. It's the cumulative totals in that four-year period, 99 to 2002, how much space we actually allocated. Aaron um, allocated 6.64 slash 8, LACNIC 0.19, APNIC 4.86, and the right NCC 5.07. And remember, that's only a four-year period, not from the beginning. Um, these are ASN assignments made by the RIRs to various organizations. It's a yearly comparison, again, four-year chunk of time, and shows the growth trends. Um, basically, again, 1999 to 2000, you saw a real increase, particularly in the Aaron region. We signed more than 2,500 ASNs that year. And then the Aaron region started to see a decline in 2001 and in 2002, even farther, um, even further down. Um, we signed less ASNs. Um, 
the ripe region peaked in 2001, and now they've been assigning left um, ASNs in 2002 as well. And the APNIC just has held steady. They have this very slow, steady growth, but very minimal. And LACNIC, um, again, followed the trend with a slower growth in 2002. Um, I should probably add that the LACNIC stats, although they're showing four-year period, um, they've only been a valid um, uh, recognized RIR since November of 2002, but Aaron managed to separate the data for LACNIC from our numbers and, and go back over the four-year period and, and, and um, show the ASNs, IPv4 and IPv6 assignments for LACNIC. So this, again, is just the four-year cumulative total from the previous slide. Aaron um, assigned 8,702 uh, autonomous system numbers in that four-year period. LACNIC, 471. APNIC, 1968. And the right NCC, 4361. So I'll move to IPv6 allocations from the RIRs to ISPs or LIRs. And this, again, is the four-year um, <coughs> period. Um, the thing to note here is that the first IPv6 allocation was actually made in 1990, 1999. So this is the entire historical allocation um, for production IPv6 space from the RIRs to their customers. And basically, you can see the growth trend all the way up through 2002. It's steady growth in all the regions, but particularly in the ripe region in 2002, um, they made almost 100 um, IPv6 allocations. They really pulled ahead in, in this past year. And again, the cumulative total for the four years, um, Aaron made 35 um, IPv6 allocations, the LACNIC region 7, APNIC 95, and the right NCC 140. And this number is current as of December 31st, so the numbers have actually increased since then. We've all made um, additional V6 allocations since then. And we decided to add a country code slide in here. Um, people are interested in where the V6 space is being used. And so well, we decided to show the top five countries and then all the other countries on the right. And of course, Japan is number one with 51 V6 allocations. Um, the US is actually number two with 29. Um, Germany, 27. The Netherlands, surprisingly, 17 and Korea 14, and then all other countries 139. So this total of, as of December 31st, 277 V6 allocations that had been made by the RIRs. And actually, that's the end of the stats. This is the links to the RIR statistics in case anyone's interested. Um, the raw data, all the um, RIRs keep raw data, and it's listed as slash eight on our FTP sites. And um, the ASO.ICAN.org site has a link to all the RIRs. And then the um, historical RIR allocations are kept on the IANA website, of course. And the RIR stats, I've listed the four um, RIR <coughs> links for the statistics. There's a variety of stuff that's kept there, all kinds of stats. So um, you can go there at any time. And the one thing um, I would ask is if anyone is interested in seeing particular types of statistics, we would welcome that feedback. We um, take feedback from the community, and if there's certain statistics you want to see, it would be great to get some email so that I could take it back to the other registries. Um, I don't have my email address, but it's relatively simple. It's leslie at aaron.net. So if there's anything you'd want to see, please let me know. And I think that's it. I caught us up. Thank you, thank you, Leslie. Um, in the interest of uh, in the interest of trying to find some semblance of being back on schedule, we're just going to go for the next for Barry. So, thank you. Oh, Susan has one. All right, if Susan has one. We have to take it, I guess. Wait, I missed that comment, and I want to hear it. What'd you say? Oh. Um, when you make a V6, or when one of the registries makes a V6 allocation, how big a company or an organization gets it? Um, it depends. We've allocated to small organizations, to universities, to vendors, to so this is total. large. It's total. total like, yeah. I, I should actually mention before we do this, the um, numbers that I listed are actually slash 32s and slash 35s. The registries operate under a single IPv6 policy, so we're all using the same criteria. And um, it's listed on all of our websites if anyone is interested. But um, it's very, it's, the criteria is not very complicated. and. Um, in fact, I could tell you that in Aaron's four-year history, we have rejected, flat-out denied, only three IPv6 requests out of well over 70 requests that we've received. So it's very rare that someone gets turned down. It's, it's, um, it's pretty easy to get 
IPv6 space, so come see us. We'd love it. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Actually, it wasn't. It was because they, um, there's two different reasons. I'm trying to think. It wasn't because they weren't um, ISPs. That was something that I had been asked before. I believe it was because they were asking for less than the minimum allocation size. In two of the cases, they were asking for slash 48s, and the minimum allocation size is slash 32 now. So, yeah, that was, <laughs> so, anything else? Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, thank you, Leslie.